Welcome to AWC in Focus. I'm Dr. Linda Elliott Nelson, Dean of Instruction at Arizona Western College. Today we're at the AWC Alicia Valdez San Luis Learning Center with Everardo Martinez Insunza, Adjunct Professor of Art History. Welcome, Everardo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. So, Everardo, what attracted you to art history as a field? Art history is uh, very diverse. I think it's probably mm -hmm. one of the most diverse art fields, I think, in that it involves the art, the creative part. Mm -hmm. It also involves history. And usually people think of history as dates and events and disconnected um, happenings. Mm -hmm. But by looking at art history, art then becomes a blueprint of what people have constructed during specific times. So th there's a lot of reflection of emotion, values, and human evolution. Mm -hmm. And so art history for the non-artist, they could see it as the, the history of human evolution. And for the artist, it's the history of art evolution. So it's really an interesting perspective. Yeah. What types of things do people learn in art history, like some specific examples? One of the fascinating uh, aspects of art history, mm -hmm. if you're a sociologist or if you're on the human development side, you see the evolution of society. You see how uh, we, from the prehistoric times, mm -hmm. start documenting the way we see the world, what we see as the right fit, what we see as harmony, what we see as symmetry, what we see as, as form. So it is the human manipulation of form to what we think fits the right shape. So now family portraits, monuments, statues, uh, buildings, uh, city design have a human fit we design it to our needs. Mm -hmm. So in, in art history, you can see that evolution. And so that is attractive to that particular population. To a different population, uh, the people who are interested in, in social sciences and politics, art history documents uh, the evolution of power, uh, how we started uh, using symbols for God, how we started using these God symbols with men and women and how then later men actually control power in society, mm -hmm. and how statues and, and buildings and thrones are gender specific, and how women have threatened this power structure. And art reflects all of that. Uh, the iconology and religion, the iconology and power and politics, and just the reflection of gender in general then mm -hmm. sees that. Mm -hmm. Another aspect that you can see in art history is the evolution of materials, the evolution of, of our ability to, to mold uh, natural elements and then later create synthetic elements to create what we interpret as beauty. And in, in, a, in, in an interesting way, we see in the last 500 years how at first uh, art is of the, the art that's left mm -hmm. is of those who had the, the power to harness artistic abilities like the pyramids, like the early well, wonders of the world were artists who did all of those things. And then later around Roman times, art becomes accessible to the middle class and to the low income populations. So then art starts chronicling uh, the value of uh, being able to identify our own image from death masks later to photography. And somewhere along the line, society becomes imprisoned by those images, we start idealizing this beauty that we see in art to the point now that beauty as we see it in magazines really doesn't exist. It, it's photoshopped. Mm -hmm. So we're now searching an elusive image that only exists in an ideal world. Mm -hmm. And so it's really an interesting process. Mm -hmm. So through art history, we can see the evolution of those forces. And most importantly, to the artist, we see the evolution of the artist himself the ability to uh, develop those techniques to be able to see the world in perspective, to be able to see the world in shadows, to be able to see the world in, in values and hues and color and be able to imitate those colors from the natural existence of those colors to later manipulating and making artificial paints and permanent paints. So it's, it's an interesting, very diverse uh, uh, field, and it depends on the student interest on, on what they focus on. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Everardo. You're welcome. And that's today for AWC in Focus.